so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is start working on my eyes just because this is a sort of a glittery look and I don't want a lot of fallout afterwards after I've already applied my foundation. Um, and I'm going to use my Urban Decay Primer Potion for this. Um, and my eyelids after my primer potion is um, this, it's a paint pot by Flower, um, the Drew Barrymore line, and it's called, it's in CE, I don't know if you can see it, mm. it's in CE in Wild Geranium. Now we're just going to take a any kind of blending brush, I'm just going to grab this um, e.l.f. eyeshadow brush, um, and I'm just going to blend this out. got that blended out uh, properly um, then you just want to the brush and go now we're gonna go into our um, make it palette um, the first color I'm gonna get is uh, toasted out of here toasted is very similar to the base coat that we just applied and just blend it out until you're Totally happy with it. I'm just gonna clean up just a little bit because I'm not entirely sure I need all this in the corner here. So once you've done that, then we are going to go in with the same brush, just flip it on the other side and go in. We're gonna go in with Buck, which I think is a fantastic fantastic transition shade. Um, most of the eyes done right there. I'm just going to go in and wrap this little piece around my hand and wipe off any excess that I have. I'm going to use the foundation primer by Laura Mercier. Oh, you know. With my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind concealer and I just like to apply this in like a triangle shape again just so that it covers all of my areas. I'm going to go in on my nose a little bit. I've got a bit of redness around my nose um, so I'm just going to go over there and then I have a couple of these little spots. I'm just going to take those out as well while I'm at it um, and then I'm going to use my um, Sephora foundation brush and this is a like a mini a travel size foundation brush looks okay and I'm gonna go in with my foundation next um, the foundation I'm gonna use is this is the sample size of it but I'm using the Marc Jacobs genius gel foundation and with our foundation I'm um, first thing I'm gonna do is set my eyebrows and I don't like to fill them in as I've told you guys before the only thing I do is um, apply some of this clear brow, brow gel and so that's all I'm going to do um, the next thing I'm gonna use for the face is my NARS 
um, bronzer and I'm using the Laguna right go in with my blush. I'm going to use the e.l.f. Mellow Mauve blush, which is right here. Um, and I just love this blush because it's so neutral and pale. And like I said, because we're doing a bold lip, I don't want the face overall to look completely crazy. Is just line my waterline with um, the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil. And I'm going to go in into Sin and apply that as a highlight color. Okay, and now that we've finished highlighting, I'm going to go in with a really thin brush this is a really really thin brush I'm gonna grab sin again just this little bit and I'm gonna go into the inner corners right here I just don't have um, any on hand. And that's it. We're finished with the with the eyes. The only thing left is the lips. Um, and I have already moisturized my lips with the EOS lip balm. I'm just gonna do it again. Why not? It's tasty. Um, and the two lip colors that I'm using, um, I'm going to mix two colors together just because I feel like this um, this combination has worked the best for me and it stays on the longest, in, in my opinion. This is a Kaylin um, Tinted Lip Balm in App Big Apple. And the lip color I'm using is by NYC. It's in Retro Red. Oh, I also have eyeliners and things by this company. Um, and they're pretty good too. Um, and it comes with a little brush. I'm just going to use the same brush. I'm just going to swirl it around a little bit um, and get some product on it. Not too much product because it's not, we're not filling it in yet. You're going to draw around your lip. And then I'm going to go in with the retro red and I'm just going to basically pop it over. enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye